How's it going? Tony here. Today, we're going to discuss some more Billy Mitchell news. Guinness Book of World Records, they have reinstated all of his high scores from 1982 to present. We're going to discuss and talk about that process and more. Thanks for watching, guys. So here it is, a statement from Guinness World Records. Billy Mitchell. This was published on June 17th, 2020. This is absolutely insane to me. I am going to leave a link down in the description below for this particular article. I'm also going to leave a link to their YouTube channel. You can watch that clip. I'm actually going to use it later in the video. So here it is. In light of compelling new evidence received by Guinness World Records, the records management team has unanimously decided to reverse decisions made in April of 2018 regarding the video game high scores achieved by Billy Mitchell between 1982 and 2010. So here are the scores that are going to be reinstated. You have the July 1999 first perfect score on Pac-Man. Now to me, that's the first time I heard the name Billy Mitchell. He was actually in my yearbook, oddly enough, and that's my first exposure to this arcade competitive world, if you will. And then, of course, we had King of Kong. That's when I first started getting really interested in that whole scene and world records and, and competition and whatnot. And then you have the 1982 high score on Donkey Kong. Now, this particular high score, this was talked about ad nauseum. In King of Kong, this is the score that Steve Wiebe, he passed and beat, and they talked about it all the time. And then you have his multiple attempts to retake his score, the 2005 score, the 2007, 2010 scores. So those are all reinstated. They also have reinstated Billy being the first one to reach the kill screen on Donkey Kong, November 7th, 1982. So that's a pretty big deal, a pretty big claim. And he's the first gamer to score 1 million points on Donkey Kong 2005. So Guinness, they're always open to accepting new evidence for historical achievements. And that's the case with Billy Mitchell and his high scores. Now this is my concern or question. Now they re-examined the case. Now of course they had new evidence from Billy and Billy, he achieved that perfect score in Pac-Man again. And he's been live streaming Donkey Kong Pac-Man on his Twitch channel. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out. So that's kind of the new proof, the new evidence, if you will. But I really want to know and understand their reevaluation process. Now, Twin Galaxies, for example, they actually have a very open forum type discussion when they evaluate look at high scores and uh, with the billy mitchell case it was wide open and left open for discussion it was even left open for discussion for billy himself for billy to to present his own side to the argument and to present his side to his case for not cheating i want to know more about this re-examination of his high scores i'm just very curious about it i want to know the process in which they went through i'm not questioning guinness but again it's kind of strange that this is happening right before billy's case and i'm going to talk about twin galaxies here in a second and my thoughts on twin galaxies and uh, what jace is going to do next and there's countless other people involved but I'm gonna focus on Twin Galaxies. So what's gonna happen with Twin Galaxies and Jace Hall? Now I'm gonna focus on them. There's a lot of other parties involved. I'm not gonna talk about YouTubers or other people with a defamation case, but my focus is uh, talking about what Twin Galaxies is gonna do with this new information, this new news with Guinness reinstating Billy's world records. I really don't think Twin Galaxies is going to do anything. Yes, they're going to go through with the legal disputes and the defamation case. They have to. 
but I don't think Billy is going to win that case. And in short, I don't think Jays or Twin Galaxies, they're not going to reinstate Billy's high scores. But in Billy's eyes, this is a major victory and a, a huge win for him. And to him, this is almost secondary. If he can keep his name in the Guinness World Record book, he is one. If he can have his old scores from the 80s onward in the record book, this is a win for him. And Jace, I I think he's going to stick to his guns with his dispute decision here. And <laughs> it it's just going to be an ongoing battle. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with that court case and uh, what the judge is going to say and uh, going forward and if Billy is going to win or not. I really don't think so. And uh, this is all very interesting to me. I've been covering this case since 2018 and actually I've been following Billy's career probably since 1999 personally and uh, you know I was a huge fan of King of Kong when it came out and now I'm not that big of a fan of King of Kong. I do enjoy watching it, but it is more of a docudrama than anything. And yeah, the Steve Weeby stuff uh, was more factual, but there's a lot of misinformation and there are some staged um, events in that movie. One thought I do have about all of this could there potentially be a King of Kong 2? Is Billy filming all this? Does he have a film crew? It hasn't been confirmed, uh, but it would be interesting if there was a sequel to King of Kong, and I could see that happening. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is crazy, crazy news, and Billy... He thinks that he's won at this point, and in my opinion, he kind of has, but he wants to go after Twin Galaxies now. He wants his scores, his records in the Twin Galaxies record book. One last thing I'm going to show you guys, this is an official statement by Billy Mitchell on his Facebook page, and you guys can read it at your leisure, but basically... Billy is saying that he's going to come out with an official video statement on his Twitch or YouTube page talking about his records being reinstated, uh, the Pac-Man and the Donkey Kong records. I may or may not cover that on my channel. We'll see. But if you read his actual post here with his official statement, he is basically saying to my detractors, let this sink in. He is taking this as a major victory. He is seeing this as if he's won this whole dispute, this whole big argument that started in 2018, and this is far from over. And again, I have just a few questions and just thinking out loud at this point in time about Twin Galaxies, and I just want to know, Guinness, like what their process is for reevaluating high scores. If something's been banned, if something's been removed, I, I'm just curious. That's all. I, I want to know how that investigation went down. And what did they take into consideration? What did they not take into consideration? I know that they looked at his Twitch and you know YouTube videos and all that. But I want to know how did they handle looking at the Twin Galaxies dispute? That's my main question with all of this. Billy Mitchell has made various appearances in the Guinness World Records books since the 1980s, but in 2018, some questions were raised about the technical aspects of his gameplay, and we therefore took the decision to disqualify his records. Mitchell then appealed that decision, and we subsequently reopened his case and re-examined the evidence. This involved reviewing both the existing evidence and newly sourced eyewitness testimony, plus some new expert gameplay analyses and hardware verification. In the end, we found that there just wasn't sufficient evidence to support the disqualification across the board. 
in cases such as this, where there is debate, we would typically defer to the original contemporaneous adjudication, and this is the case here. So the result is that the records management team has decided to reverse the decisions made and reinstate all of Mr Mitchell's records for Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. Billy Mitchell, video game player of the century. I'm here today to celebrate Guinness World Records' unanimous decision to reinstate all of my world records from 1982 to present day. To put it into historical perspective, esports began in 1982, history's first gathering of competitive game players. I was there, my career began. At that event, I had the good fortune of setting a world record on Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong's first kill screen in history. It was an awesome time and a passion that ignited a, a spirit within me that would forever put me on a journey to be the best. It brought me to Guinness World Records. At Guinness World Records, that spirit, that passion to wanna to be the best took me throughout North America, took me to Europe, took me to Asia, where in 1999, after having performed history's first perfect Pac-Man on stage at the Tokyo Game Show in front of 70,000 people, Masaya Nakamura presented me the Video Game Player of the Century Award. That has to be the climactic point in my illustrious gaming career. He predicted at that event that this would ignite a reinterest in classic gaming. And my thought was, with that being the truth, I would now take a new position. If I have achieved all that I could in the gaming world, I need to now push and advocate for competitive gaming, the players, the notoriety, the recognition, and all that they deserve. And that was my passion. Occasionally, I get pulled back into the competition, whether it was Pac-Man or Donkey Kong, history's first one million point score, but I would quickly get back to what it was I truly enjoyed, that ambassadorship, advocating, the media, the movies, the International Video Game Hall of Fame, there was my passion. Unfortunately, in 2018, I became the subject of false allegations. And I just shook my head as to how this would happen. And I didn't shake my head long. My support system simply wouldn't let me. Hi, my name is Walter Day. I'm the founder of Twin Galaxies. I founded it almost 40 years ago. And as many of you know, I've almost worked with Guinness World Records almost 40 years too. Start, starting back in 1983, I started verifying and confirming world record scores for them. Well, over the years, a lot of things that got submitted to them that I'm absolutely certain were real true scores recently had been in doubt. Guinness World Records did their own new research to try and confirm whether or not these old scores were indeed worthy of being reinstated into their database. And uh, they came to the conclusion that Billy, Billy Mitchell, based on the evidence and based on my testimony, they came to the conclusion that Billy Mitchell's world records that were removed from their uh, from their database have now been reinstated. So I'm very pleased to see this happen. And I had faith that it would come out this way because all of those people who, who were part of the old days, who played the old games and saw Billy Mitchell play, they knew that he was completely capable of getting these records. And they also knew that there was no main being available to be played on back in the old golden age. Uh, I'm honored to be a part of this process and also uh, be amazed at how wonderful the classic gaming, uh, you know, world has become and i know how everybody's going to really embrace the situation because they know that billy mitchell is a tremendous player and that his scores were genuine they said never surrender we began historically putting together everything that was history we gathered it all up and while we were doing that i began playing wondering am i that good could i recreate that same skill level that I had for so many years, and that came to its highest point last year on the 20th anniversary of the perfect Pac-Man when I went back to Fun Spot on the 4th of July weekend, and in celebration, I recreated the perfect Pac-Man again. It was an awesome time. All of this was brought together 
all of this was presented, presented to Guinness World Records. Now, with history solidified, what am I gonna do from here? Do I want future world records? I guess it's too difficult to say no to that, so I guess maybe I do. But more than anything, I wanna get back to work. The ambassadorship, competitive gaming, the legacy that that's gonna leave behind long after we're gone. That's my true passion, and that's what I'll be doing. Let me know what you guys think about this news. This is absolutely insane. I can't believe Guinness Book of World Records reinstated Billy Mitchell's records. Billy always has a plan. Do you think that this is going to be part of a sequel for King of Kong 2? Let me know in the comments below. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'm doing a giveaway for a Super Nintendo Classic Edition, and all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. You guys can also follow me on Facebook at RetroTony. Thanks for watching.